The TI-84 isn't very much help in a typical geometry class until you enhance it with a free program called Transformations Professor. See the link in the description. With this added to your TI-84, you can do all these transformations, but this vid will focus on showing you how to do rotations and dilations. Let's see how rotations work. First, you need to enter a shape. This is done by entering in the vertices of a polygon. You can enter them as XY coordinates using the built-in lists, or you enter them by hand. Or you can try things out with a preloaded shape, which is an irregular pentagon. To do a rotation, choose number four. The next menu lists the common rotations students first learn. All rotations are in an anti-clockwise, aka counterclockwise, direction. Select the degree of rotation you want to perform, and then select the XY coordinate of the center of rotation. In this example, let's use 0, 0. Press Enter to return to the main menu, and from here, you may view the coordinates. And also, view the graph. A clockwise rotation can be done by choosing number four, the other option, and entering a negative angle. Be sure to use the negative symbol key, not the minus symbol key, when entering a negative value. Let's try negative 45 degrees, and the center of rotation will be 4, 1. And here are the coordinates of the resulting image. Rotations can be helpful in understanding some trigonometry concepts if you enter a line one unit long as seen here in this example. Moving on to dilations, choose option 5 from the main menu. A dilation greater than 1 will enlarge an image, let's try 2, and a center of dilation can be specified. The graph of the transformation shows the intersection of vertices with the center of dilation. Composing multiple transformations is easy. From the main menu, choose option number 3, continue with the image, and apply another transformation. This time, let's try a dilation of 0.5 from a center of 5.5. Graph and coordinates. Let's do one more composition by dilating the image by a factor of negative 1 through the origin. That's it for this video. Take a look at my other video, which covers the transformations of reflections and translations. If this video was helpful, please be so nice and give me a thumbs up. Again, see the link in the description to get a copy of this free program.